Okay, I know there are a lot of die-hard radio detection fans out there, uh, and they hate the Vivex <laughs> with a passion for some reason, and they say it's got too many gimmicks. I'm at an industrial site today. Uh, the hydro has already been here and already exposed the services, which is good. I've got my transmitter down on the fire service. We are located in the fire service. So, all good. We come along, located in the fire service. Again, all good. And there it is there. We come across, keep trying to locate it. Turn the gain up. Turn the gain right up. Look at my milliamps. Look at the color of the screen. Red, no good. Why is it no good? Because I've jumped onto something else. I've jumped onto that, which is not the fire service. That is the fire service, and I can't get it because it's turned plastic. So that one there is your fire service, that's your water. Um, and yeah, because it is PVC, because it's not, not um, conductive, but if that wasn't exposed and someone was not experienced and they came through and they said, yep, that's the fire service there. I mean, milliamps is off. So that should be a good indication, but again, no, without experience, a good, a simple indication is the fact that it's red compared to, compared to the other one, green and blue. Again, let's come back down before it changed to plastic. So there it is there. And there it is. Green, all good, you've got the right one. And notice milliamps is one versus the other one was 0.2. So, not a huge difference in milliamps, but yeah, another reason why I think the uh, Vivex is uh, there, the way to go. Again, radio detection's good, but I just prefer the Vivex. And those of you that don't like the features of it, well, it's just, uh, yeah, why? <laughs> why not? I don't get it. <laughs>